Welcome back to Social Work Scrapbook. Grab your coffee. I am taking you into the first week of my school year. Subscribe if you're loving these vlogs and want more. Let's get started. there welcome back to another vlog it is a brand new school year so i am taking you into my first week of work kind of a little soaking wet because of all the rain and my umbrella is tucked in the back in the trunk of my car so i couldn't reach it with my small arm first thing i do when i get into work is charge my work cell phone and i have a little setup over here turn on my lamp all right i grab my little key to open up shop. All right, so my first day back was actually on the third and today is the fifth. But to catch you up on these two days, there are no students starting back to school just yet, so I am focused on organizing my space and planning out my long-term goals and short-term goals for the school year. By the second day, we have all of the faculty meetings, logistical meetings, and I make a few student contacts. Let me know in the comments below when you started your school year and what you do to prepare. And today, I plan to meet with more staff and collaborate with the community. I have a whole lot of services to set up for the new year coming in and possibly a student if the weather doesn't keep her away. It's still thunderstorming really bad out there. <sighs> okay, I'm actually glad I wore a dress today because I really feel like it's gonna dry out better than what a set of pants would. My toes are a little wet. So I'm actually gonna reach into my self-care drawer and here I have a set of socks i think i'm gonna put on my socks and start up my laptop here with a little bit of music all right new passwords to start off every year so it takes me a little bit of time to get into some of these but here i am i'm in it is super quiet in here so i need some noise i am the only one in the office right now and the reason why is because I am not located on a campus. Again, just like last year, you can check out a previous vlog where I explained my new social work role. Sounds like I'm on a call doing official business, but I love these. It's like a guilty pleasure. The first date follow-up, where if you go out on a date with someone and then you end up not calling them back after, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask what happened. And okay, so now that I'm set up with a little bit of background noise, I'm gonna grab my planner. I started last year with this Simplified Planner by, I wanna say Emily Lay. I keep my checklist in here, weekly, daily checklists that keep me on track to reaching my short-term and long-term goals for the year. I'm also taking calls and checking emails and every contact that I make or correspondence I do document on this little log that I tally up at the end of the month to show my data. I also came across a really cool video I'm going to show you soon. Hey there, how you doing? For years, Simmons saw a pattern in his neighborhood that concerned him. Kids that were missing too much school. I'm going to link this video down below, but it was shared by one of the awesome social workers on our team here. It's titled The Search for Detroit's Absent Students. Currently, 65% of students in Detroit's public school district are chronically absent. For the last year and a half, you've been stuck in this online, in-person, hybrid school thing. How is that working out? Honestly, it's online. I feel like I'm not learning anything. It's just like, we log on, they just talk, then go to the next class. There's no federal law or mandate on how to keep track of school attendance. Okay, at this point in my admin day, I am contacting daycares right now. It is a huge service that our students rely upon in order to get to graduation. They need a place oftentimes for their baby to stay that is safe and secure, and that's the daycares that we contract. So it's really nice. We, the district contracts with, this number has changed a bit. Let me see, three, four, 
five daycares in and around our district zone and our district pays for that daycare service. As long as the students are on track to graduation, coming to school every day, there's a whole contract that the student and I review and go over, which I'm gonna do probably tomorrow with two of our students that are prepping for their first day of school and they are wanting to be sure that they have the baby all set up to go for daycare services. So at the beginning of every year, I contact all of the daycares to make sure they want to continue contracting with our district. We get some signatures and we also share our school schedule, winter breaks, summer breaks, holidays, so that they're aware of when not to bill our students. Yes, hello, this is Lauren, the social worker for the teen parent program. Yes. Yeah, we're ready to start back the new year. However, this school year is going to look a little bit different as far as the student holidays and breaks. And so I just wanted to make sure that it's still okay with you. Yeah, I will send you the dates. I have your email and everything. And then we have our meeting coming up too. All right, sounds good. I made my calls and I actually ended up leaving a lot more messages than I wanted to. So I'm going to send them an email as well. If you have done social work for a while, you know you need at least two ways to contact a client or the community agency. That's a phone number, an email. And what I do is I like to create a template and then send it out to each one personally. Um, I find that I get a better response that way. All right, I have closed up shop for just a little bit to eat lunch. That means I go from this desk to that desk. I am still social distancing. There's some mowing happening outside right now. During lunch, I like to check Instagram, check the messages. I also plan out YouTube videos. I plan out my IG lives. Someone was interested in hearing my top five most mortifying social work moments. So you can check out that live. I'll link it down below. Just finished opening up the front office again. I am holding down the fort today as our front office clerk is in training. So I'm kind of opening, closing, doing a little bit of both from my desk here. And then I can see straight across over there to the front office. If we have any visitors, like I mentioned, this is a care center. This center really houses mental health agencies and keeps them close to home. They utilize the office spaces in our center to meet with the students that attend our district, our staff, the families of our students, and even the families of our staff. This is one of my favorite spaces that I'm taking you to that is utilized by the Children's Bereavement Center. We do have a lot of grief happening this year, as I'm sure you do too. Our families can access this service for free and it's really nice for them to have a space they don't have to go all the way to the other side of town many of the mental health agencies main offices are located on the other side of town and it's really hard it becomes a barrier for our at-risk students and community members to get to those spaces so i feel like just having this space really destigmatizes mental health for my community it makes it more accessible yeah so this is a, kind of the hub for mental health services in our district so that our families don't have to trek across town to get mental health counseling or services, um, support, things like that. It's Friday. I got three responses. And my response is I'm talking about the daycares. The child cares are ready and willing to work with us this school year, which is super great because I'm about to meet with my first student in person for the school year. We are going to sign this child care agreement, get bus scheduled and set up for her and her baby. I'm going to show her the different child care vendors that she can choose from. Definitely going to take some notes and connect her to any more resources and services that may be best for her. All right, it is just about lunchtime and I just met with my first student of the year. Super exciting. Set her up for daycare services for her little one. She brought her little one in here. So I realize that I'm going to need a carpet in here for sure and a few baby toys to keep the little ones entertained. Now I am going to grab lunch, which I pack all the time, and eat lunch before I have some trainings and then I'm going to visit some campuses to finish off the day. Snapchat does raise 
streaks. The fire symbol indicates that that individual is on a snap streak or that they have snapped this person every day and that person has snapped them back. So Snapchat's age policy is in compliance with the U.S. Children's Online Privacy Protection. For voice messages, photo, and video sharing, these features operate similar to the application in the caveat that the user can still place the timer. Right, I just got to the campus right now. I'm actually gonna visit with a newer social worker. Is my camera dirty? <laughs> a newer social worker in my district. And I'm super excited because she's taking over one of the campuses that I had last year. So I really am excited to share some resources with her, walk her through some things about this campus and answer any questions that she has. I'm excited that we're getting more social workers in the district. Honestly, I love it so much. It's such a great team here. All right, here we go. My badge still works. Yay, it worked. We're in my vlog. <laughs> oh, what do they do? Like that? Yes. So I am resting, relaxing a little bit before I jump into some school social work coaching. Just a brand new thing for me and I'm I'm loving it. I'm gonna go get ready, go get some water. What are you gonna do when I go into my coaching call? What are you gonna be doing out here? I am going to watch Impractical Jokers. Ah, uh, so you're all queued up for I'm waiting. <laughs> So I will most likely not be missed at all. Ah! Oh my God. All right, so it is time, almost just about time to log in. I'm gonna grab my planner. So yeah, my coaching calls are specifically for newer school social workers or school social workers that really want to set up a system for their school social work programs. There is not a lot of guidance for school social workers. A lot of the social workers that I'm working with and coaching are the only social workers in their district or they're the first social worker hired on for their campus. So how I came up with this is far too often I was getting a lot of questions about scenario type questions. What do you do in this case? What do you do in that case? And I have so many videos up here to help newer school social workers, but every situation as you know is completely different and a lot of people just wanted to really connect with me and have my guidance one-to-one -one. so i figured let's jump into it let's do this i love talking social work and i remember being in those first few years as a school social worker trying to come up with my own interventions create my own program and it can be really stressful so what i do is i apply what i have been through and help give them those templates help set them up and strategize so that they can be most effective here is my setup right now if any of you all ever wonder um, how I do this kind of, um, these kind of vlogs, it's all on my iPhone. So it's really easy and simple. And then I edit here on my, my Mac, my new Mac that I got for Christmas, making it so much easier. I'm actually editing a video right now. You might have already seen this video all about clinical social work. All right. I'm going to get all set up for coaching and I'll see y'all in a bit. <laughs> Looking beat again. I'm all done with my coaching. Yay. <laughs> what are we eating? Authentic Mexican cuisine. Yum. Also known as Taco Bell. <laughs> Gordita crunch time. <laughs> still Jonathan's space here in the bed because it's so so comfy just put the dogs out <laughs> I'm actually dressed already and I'm about to go make breakfast so I got to do my makeup and put on my shoes but we are starting the day off early early because we have the school supply drive today in a few hours it starts at nine 
So it's gonna be like a whole family affair. I think it'll be fun though. So we'll bring you along. All right, I am ready. Got my shoes on. Ready to get some breakfast. You ready to go? We finally are all packed up, got some folding chairs, some water, a little bit of snacks, our caps, and he has glasses, energy drink, energy drink coffee for me. back to school bash there's so many vendors and lots of community agencies here immunizations are here let me show you how it looks at our back to school bash we had school supplies which my husband and I packed up I will show you in just a second we also had community agencies free immunizations it was so much fun Woo. Uh -oh. we just got done unloading a whole bunch of school supplies from there earlier <laughs> thanks so much for tuning into this vlog if you enjoyed this one let me know give me a like now here come the bloopers cool. only professional YouTube videos use outtakes line oh. everybody knows that you ready to be in it tomorrow too being what being you John are you live I said blog okay so you're not live right now no. So just have a little